Hola there, my beautiful, beautiful friends. Welcome to Mallorca, Spain, and everything I ate during this week. My name's Julia, and I try my best to show realistic and nourishing meals in a fun, joyful way. So without further ado, let's get into it. To start today off, I needed something well-rounded and fast, so I fried up some mushrooms and some tofu, seasoning it with some basil, garlic powder, and some chili flakes. I added some spinach for some extra pop of green, and of course, balsamic vinegar, because if you've been around for any sort of time, I think you would have realized that I'm slightly addicted to balsamic vinegar. <laughs> I toasted up some bread and added a half an avocado to it, and then threw my mixture on top and enjoyed it in some sunshine. We then got ourselves ready and went for a run. Although I'm moving and grooving here, my body was really exhausted and my calves were so, so sore. So this one was a struggle. I'm dying. Uh, no. I'm contributing to the vlog. These are my, these are my running buddies. I'm hiking. <laughs> we're running. We're running. running. I'm Julia and Justina. Hiking. Welcome to Justina. Justina's gonna win TDS this year. <laughs> Big deal. It's a big deal. Like yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Jim Walmsley. Yeah, like Jim Yeah. Yeah. The world's going to pick it up on the media. Anyways. I hope here. The one's gonna here we are. Check it out. Whoa. Not too shabby, right? Not too shabby. <laughs> Welcome to the summit of Lesclop. Would you call it Lesclop Mountain? Lesclop. After about a thousand meters of elevation and 15 yeah. kilometers yeah. going up and down this beautiful mountain while wearing the wrong size of shoes because we forgot my shoes on the airplane, I was absolutely wrecked after this. I don't know if YouTube is going to no, want to see that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, they might look at that. Look what she's no. running on. Oh, stop, that's so stop tough. getting closer. <laughs> You're so tough though. Okay. Uh, that was that was sick though. That yeah. was awesome. I'm I'm pretty proud of myself for how sore be. my calves were at the beginning. Oh, you yeah, but you should be proud of how you're on the downhill. Yeah, really. like yeah. I I'm impressed. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. What's going on with your shoelaces, just you? What? My well, shoe? look at that you one. Like a yeah, you that one's like, like a triple. double high. And this one is just floppy bunny. What's going on? Last nest, floppy bunny. <laughs> Once we got back, Justina gracefully threw us together some lunch with a bunch of veggies, leftover rice, chickpeas, and seasoning it with some soy sauce. Even though we made fun of her shoes, she happily made us some food. <laughs> we all sat together outside and enjoyed the views, chatted, and then went about and did our own thing. We then collected a little bit later, and me and Scott made us some dinner. You teach me how to trail run, and I'll teach you how to cut onions. Perfect. We got a good deal. Sounds like a great deal. I like it. Already way better at cutting onions. We chopped up a bunch of veggies, including potato, oh, cauliflower, potato. squash, the beautiful onion that Scott cut, and I seasoned everything with a bunch of different spices that I honestly don't even know what I ended up spicing it with because it was all in Spanish and I don't fully understand Spanish, <laughs> but I was trying to go for an Italian-esque type vibe and I think I nailed it. I threw that into the oven and this oven is actually gas, so there's an actual flame in the back of it. Yogurt is the ultimate non-dairy yogurt. It really is. Good. Don't want to hate. It's kind of like peanut butter. It's like somehow Adam's is just like 10 shoulders above all the other peanut butters. It's such a simple food. It's, peanut butter. it's the it's same thing. thing. Yeah. It's There's yeah. one ingredient yeah. or like five ingredients. Yeah. Why do they taste so different? Yeah. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. But just get the one that's better, you know? As a snack, I had the debatable coconut yogurt, blueberries, and a big spoonful of strawberry jam. I then started sauteing some onion, mushrooms, and zucchini, seasoning that again with some Italian-esque spices. And because we only had about a half a can of tomatoes, I threw some cherry tomatoes in there. And for some protein, I coated tofu in a little bit of flour and salt, and then threw that onto a baking sheet with some oil, threw that into the oven as well. And we're going to let that do its thing until it's nice and crisp 
throwing some beautiful green pasta in some water and like I said only about a half a can of tomato sauce and I threw some water in there just to kind of liquefy this a little bit more tasting and seasoning as I go Scott offered me a non-alcoholic beer because apparently drinking is not cool anymore who knew <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, I'm really not that big of a drinker. And honestly, non-alcoholic beer to me is is not really worth it. Some of them are okay, and then some of them I just feel like I'm drinking a bottle of bread for no reason. But anyways, I got everything ready to go and finalized and brought it out to the dining room table and served myself up some veggies, some tofu, my pasta, and we all just sat, enjoyed, talked, and... Had a beautiful evening. This freaking house that I am in is so magically gorgeous and I will share a full tour of it in the coming future. So definitely stay tuned for that because this place sleeps like 14 people. There's like a jillion bedrooms and you get lost. <laughs> Starting today off with my beloved AG1, I then chopped up some watermelon and some strawberries and I just wanted to sit, enjoy this freaking beautiful view, do some journaling and get all sentimental and internal this morning. So I just munched on all the fruit and a little bit later I made myself a bowl of protein yogurt, so yogurt, protein powder, <laughs> threw a half a mango on there. I was just in a snacky mood today and here we are, another snack type food. Am I wearing the right shirt to pour canned beans into a pot? Absolutely freaking not. This is the worst shirt I could have worn ever. <laughs> but hey, we gotta live on the edge every once in a while. So I spiced up the can of beans with an array of different spices because I always feel the need to make a dish my own. Got some chili flakes in there, smoked paprika some basil, some parsley, and because we only had one piece of bread left, I threw some hummus on it, and then I also threw some hummus on a couple crackers, and then threw the beans on there too, and then I mixed together some greens with balsamic vinegar, oil, salt, pepper, just a simple green salad. I just felt like I needed some sort of freshness <laughs> with my meal, so that's what inspired me to do that and it's so good i find like if you feel the need to add a little bit of freshness into your meal just throwing some greens into a bowl and seasoning them well with some sort of dressing is just the perfect way to do that if you don't feel like chopping up a bunch of different veggies but let me stop talking about that for a hot second and just admire this amazing freaking view i cannot get enough of this Oh, I feel so beyond grateful and blessed to be able to sit at this table, eat beans on toast, <laughs> and enjoy the views of the mountains and the ocean. So a little bit later in the day, me and Scott decided it would probably be a good idea to go get some groceries. So we grabbed a bunch of different things. I'm gonna do a full grocery haul in a hot minute, but Spain is an amazing place to be a vegan. I found it so easy. There's so many options for me. There's tofu and all of the things. I'm currently in France and I find it so much more difficult to be a vegan in France than I did in Spain. So if you are a veggie foodie, then maybe Spain is a place for you. Turn left onto Avenguda de Bartomeu Esteva Mestra Queener, MA1B. My road name is a whole sentence. You guys, I don't know what the hell just happened, but we just bought so much food for 75 euros. That is 115 Canadian dollars. I can't remember the last time I went to a grocery store and spent 115 Canadian dollars for like a week's worth of food for two people. One of which is a athlete that eats probably 4,000 calories a day. Greens, pepper, zucchini, walnuts, Lots of coconut yogurt, like multiple things of coconut yogurt, coconut kefir, peppers, quinoa, frozen beans, tomato sauce, fresh beans, lettuce, noodles, shiitake mushrooms, which 
are so freaking expensive for $3.50. Chicken breast, sorry vegans, Scott's not one. Regular mushrooms, a big thing of freaking strawberries, three things of oat milk. Did I say quinoa already? This was like a dollar fifty euro, a dollar one fifty euro. Chickpeas, tofu, veggie broth, chocolate, these pickled beans, which I'm actually very curious about. I want to try right now. Be completely honest. I don't. Whoa. Induction ovens freak me out. Oh, so good, so spicy. Water is needed. We also got mangoes and sweet potatoes, cucumber, some onion, bananas. I'm genuinely stunned. And this really beautiful loaf of bread, which I cannot wait to dive into. Okay, induction oven, you gotta stop beeping at me. Let's get making dinner. Let's finish it up before Scott gets home. It's already 9.20 and we are really living this European life, eating dinner at like eight, nine or 10 o'clock at night recently. I'm kind of okay with it, but it's like, let's get going. Also, I'm pretty sure this is a vase or something to share water with multiple people, but I've claimed it as my water cup. To get into dinner and to get into all of the amazing things that I just bought, we're gonna chop up some tofu, throw that into a bowl. We're gonna, we'll come back to it. We're gonna chop up some veggies, some avocado. This avocado was freaking gorgeous. We had some leftover tomatoes in the fridge, so I sliced those in half, and I wanted some real freshness in this salad, so Citrus is the way to freaking go. Threw my tofu into a hot frying pan, seasoned it with some salt. And I think the trick is when frying tofu, add salt early and the salt almost like crisps and like molds to the tofu and is seasoned really, really well. Tofu is bland, let's be real here. So seasoning it with a good amount of salt is the way to freaking go. Do you want this bowl? It does have our bowl. Yeah, probably. I just, I just don't think it's as pretty, you know. Mm. But it's okay. I'm not gonna make the decision for you. you just. It'll be easier for mixing. Okay. So in the disappointed state of having to switch to a bigger bowl that I didn't think was as pretty, I threw all of the chopped up veggies in there and then decided to also slice up some radish, got that in there as well, and covered it in my balsamic vinaigrette dressing. I'll leave that dressing in the description box, but if this is even your second What I Eat in a Week video that you've watched of mine, you would have seen me make a dressing similar to that multiple times before. Oh, so good. <laughs> Good morning. What a beautiful day to chop up a bunch of fruit and nourish our bodies with some freshness. We've got a bunch of freaking kiwis. Kiwi is an underrated fruit. If you eat it too soon, yes, it's sour. The skin is a little bit weird. You can eat the skin though. If you get over the texture thing, it's actually a great source of fiber for you. Delicious. Don't underrate kiwi. <laughs> we got a bunch of other fruit and fruit in Spain is just too freaking die for. So all I wanted to do was just eat fruit all day and relax in the sun and enjoy my life. Enjoyed that with some protein coconut yogurt along with these beautiful mountain views, a coffee and wonderful company. A little bit later, I munched on the leftover salad from last night, as well as a few pieces or a couple pieces of bread with balsamic vinegar. Getting crazy up in here doing shots. Shots, 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 shots. What two active people do. <laughs> Apple ginger juice. Apple ginger shots. So good though. For dinner tonight, we're making a pasta dish with lentils. It's just such a go-to. I feel like pasta is something that kind of makes everybody happy. And if you are gluten-free, gluten-free pasta. Does it make you happy still? Of course it does, it's good. 
I started off by frying up some onion and some mushrooms and I love throwing my mushrooms in with my onions first to kind of release that liquid, brown them up and that's where the real flavor is. I used to hate mushrooms because anyone that ever made them for me just made them super soggy and wet and it's so unenjoyable. Crisp your mushrooms up first. Anywho. Got all my veggies into my pan. I strained my pasta. Scott made some lentils in the pasta water. So a good trick is if you are cooking whole lentils from a dry package, they take about 20 minutes. So if you throw them in first and then time however long your pasta needs, you only need one pot. Took in Spain. <laughs> I mixed that all in with the sauce. Scott covered his with some feta cheese and I threw some hummus on top. And what's dinner without dessert? Doesn't even count as a meal? I don't know. As you can tell, I'm absolutely loving my coconut yogurt bowls with a bunch of fruit. It's just so refreshing in the Spanish heat to have that for breakfast, along with a yummy coffee. We then went on a little bit of an adventure to a nearby town to go to a beach. I had a protein bar along with these olive oil, herb, cracker, bread things and hummus. I'm not a very responsible person when it comes to the sun. So that's, not. yeah. Not. I'm dangerous. <laughs> uh, Scott one was one of us. One of us is got us covered. Yeah. <laughs> Scott was bugging me to put sunscreen on. I was like, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. And then I finally was like, okay, you can put sunscreen on me. He's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Let me get sunburned. Thank you. I appreciate. It. <laughs> Once we got back from the beach, I had some leftovers, a hot shower, and then I got on some dinner again, chopping up my onions and mushrooms, sauteing those first, throwing some tofu in there along with some soy sauce. We're making a big stir fry and I felt like an orange sauce for some freshness. So I juiced an entire orange and then I'm adding half of a lemon's juice for a little bit of acidity, soy sauce. Once everything in the pan originally was browned, I threw the fresh veggies in. I find adding peppers, carrots, and broccoli near nearing the end of the stir fry is a great way to make sure that they still have a little bit of a bite to them and still carry a bit of their freshness and they're not overcooked. I got some rice noodles into some boiling water. I zested almost an entire orange into this mixture, again, for that freshness. I then mixed slowly but surely the rice noodles into the stir fry along with the sauce plated it up and freaking enjoyed this dare I say this was the first time I had rice noodles this week if you know me this is a rare occasion <laughs> but they still have my heart fully and truly Ice cream bar. Ice cream bar. Gracias. 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 Helado? Helado. Oh my gosh, I'm missing some chocolate. What? Where did it go? It's on your wrapper. It's gotta be on your wrapper. It's gotta be. We gotta find it. It's gotta be there. Gotta find it. Yeah. Help me. It. Help me. Should we reconstruct your ice cream? Yeah. Restoration in, pro in progress. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Wait. Oh. And this came off of. Should have been a surgeon. Why are you a runner? Honestly. I did start today off with a yogurt protein bowl. I just unfortunately lost the footage. However, you know what's up. I've been having it all week, so let's move on to lunch. Got a bunch of spinach and lettuce into a big bowl along with some cucumber, and I'm finally chopping up some white onion. White onion is pretty good in a salad if you finally chop it. I just unfortunately ran out of red onion, and that was my option. 
I also threw some red peppers in there along with an avocado, leftover pasta and lentils, and some spicy peppers. And of course, what else is there? Balsamic vinaigrette dressing, dare I say? Classic of me. I mixed that up, poured it over my salad, and then served myself a big bowl of it. I did munch on this salad several times throughout the day, so don't think that I had this one bowl and that was it. I just kind of picked at it, but the goal today is to clear the fridge. So of course, leftover chocolate ice cream with some espresso. What a great way to clear the fridge. <laughs> It was just a lot less forever. Hi, you're supposed to be an outdoor cat. Meow. 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 Yep, out you go. Meow. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. You're cute and sweet. Hey, get, 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 get. Nope, 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 nope. I'm sorry. That made me feel really bad. The goal for tonight's dinner is to use everything. Everything. We got some green onion slash leek things. I don't even know what they really were, along with some asparagus, seasoned it with some salt, some pepper, and some olive oil. I did the same with these spicy Spanish peppers. I can't properly say the name and I don't want to butcher in it, but I can't even say butcher. <laughs> Realizing I had some leftover big long beans, I threw those in with the asparagus and the leek onion things. And we're making a massive batch of sweet potato fries. I have three big old sweet potatoes, so I chopped those into nice thick chunks and then threw those into a bowl and seasoned them with a good amount of olive oil, smoked paprika, curry, garlic powder, and some sort of other spice that I saw and smelled good. <laughs> Threw that onto a baking dish, multiple baking dishes, I should say, and into the oven to do its thing. Again, this oven is so cool. The fact that you're actually using a flame to heat things inside of an oven is just cool to me. Chopped up some onion and some mushrooms. Freaking classic of me. I feel like every meal just includes onions and mushrooms. I'm sorry if you hate them. It's just the way I like to live my life. As they're sauteing, I chopped up a bunch of veggies for a salad, carrot, cucumber, red peppers, leftover lettuce. We're gonna throw some spinach in here as well. Once we got a nice browning on our onions and mushrooms, I threw some veggie stock in there along with a can of coconut milk and then crumbled in a half a block of tofu, spicing it up with some chili flakes, pepper, garlic powder, and half of a lemon's juice for a bit of acidity. Finalizing, mixing up our salad and then squeezing some lemon, some orange. And instead of wasting a bowl while mixing a dressing, I just threw everything on the salad and then mixed it up afterwards. Olive oil, salt, chili flakes, pepper. And your hands are an amazing mixing utensil. So use them when you can. As an appetizer, we munched on that along with our spicy oven roasted peppers and then served up this mushroom tofu soup, which was really good surprisingly for a quick soup with minimal ingredients. And then I dipped my sweet potato fries in some barbecue sauce because that was the only sauce I had as an option. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I just wanna thank you for being here. You have no idea how grateful I am for you. I'm sending you so much love and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. See you soon. Mwah!